Hey, welcome. Keepable hand. It's a bit heavy on mana. But if we draw another expensive spell in the next turn or two, it's pretty nice. It does have the... Uh, more boggles, okay. I could eat everything to the Ravager to destroy the totem armor. Not everything. Just all this garbage that I didn't really need. Anyways. I highly doubt that I'll be able to block another turn. So, might as well get him thinking about losing to damage. Interesting. I wonder what's coming up. Scout and Bogle. I would like to not lose to Path to Exile. I'm currently ahead enough that I can try to play around path. Still with it, winning without having to lose to Path to Exile. Still winning, okay. Not there. Um, Blood Moon, Blood Moon, etched. Thought Seizes out with a couple Steel Overseers and Memnites. I do like Alvanic Blast. Um, killing the Core Spirit Dancer is super important, and worst comes to worst. Sometimes 4 to 8 to 12 damage to the dome is all you need to win. If you watch the last league, you'll know how good Blood Moon is.
Well. This hand is not going to win. Blech. I don't think there's anything I like less than the third spire of industry. Spirit Dancer? I really gotta draw that Galvanic Blast. Wow, four Spires of Industry. Um, shit. Ranker is exactly what I needed him to not have. Well, this could be better. I don't even know what he could have that would make me not lose horribly. I don't think there's anything I can draw that would be even remotely close to doing anything. Certainly not creating a plague. Okay, well maybe I can draw <laughs> not mulligan and then draw all four spires of industry on the draw. Oh yeah, this this is much more capable. What you got? So it's a slippery bogle into double ranker. Actually, drawing another land. Ugh. This is actually a disaster. I'm pretty sure if he just keeps up path, I'm in. Pretty much dead. All right, well, he had a good draw. That was a very good theory, Larmer. 